Here we are in um, Annapurna. It's just started the Annapurna track. Um, we're going from uh, Besiva to Bule Bule at the moment. And we have to go across this bridge, which looks amazing. And up these paths. And we're going to go to the top of this mountain, which looks amazing. Oh, no, we're not. We're going down here. But still, maybe we should walk up there anyway. Here we are in um, Annapurna. It's just started the Annapurna track. Um, we're going from uh, Besiva to Bule Bule at the moment. And we have to go across this bridge, which looks amazing. And up these paths. And we're going to go to the top of this mountain, which looks amazing. Oh, no, we're not. We're going down here. But still, maybe we should walk up there anyway. Here we are walking along up the mountains and we've come to our first waterfall. It's not very big, but it's still amazing. And now try and cross it. It's not very deep, so that was pretty easy. Still, look at that. Looking good. Oh. I just got drips on by something. I don't think there's any birds up there. I didn't think it was poo. <laughs> uh, oh, there's another one here. A little bit more difficult to cross, I think. But that's fine. We can do it. I've got these sturdy boots on. Oh. There we go. And that's the other one up the front there. We just stopped off at a uh, at Freya, Alex, Fletcher, and Sir. We just stopped off at the uh, Mahaganja something river where people raft there. The current is so strong, and someone said that loads of kids die in it just by playing and stuff. So we only had a paddle. It was so cold and refreshing. It was amazing. That was it down there. It's good. And now we're on to Bubule. This is a caterpillar on the Annapurna Trail. It looks quite poisonous. Oh, I can't get it properly. Oh, look! Oh, that's so cool. Great, okay, this is the beginning of day two on our trek. Here we are walking across the bridge towards Manang. Uh, this is an amazing river. This is still the same. Mashuri, Mayashuri, I can't remember how to say it. River. Way too strong for the dam. It looks amazing. You'd actually die if you went down there. Okay. But still, we're on our way. Hello. We've just started day three of our trek. There's an amazing waterfall just there, which we woke up to. We're going through a little town right now, and today hopefully we're going to get to Tal. We didn't quite make it to Jagat last night, but we got to Gorem, which is the one just before it. It's a good job we stopped there because it got dark pretty soon after. And Freya is. Obviously, Freya has got a porter today. She was feeling pretty rough yesterday and struggling with her bag a bit. So it's good. We might make go a bit faster today. 
and um, then we're going to get some nice waterfalls and possibly a hot spring when we get to Tal. There's the biggest waterfall I think I've ever seen. It goes all the way down there. Yeah, <laughs> we've just started our fourth day of trekking and um, we're going from Tal to Darakanyu today. We've just walked up from down this far and now we have to go up more steps. We just came up these. It's a really nice waterfall over there. We've got a porter with us. For Freya today, and where is he? Where's the guy? Oh, there. Um, there he is. <laughs> Just have a little rest upstairs before we go up some more. Good morning. This Good way, morning. <laughs> this is our fifth day of trekking, and today we're coming from Danakayu to Chem which is a big town. We were pretty late leaving today because last night when we got to the hotel there was a horse that had got a really badly broken leg and it was just lying down outside. There wasn't much, um, they weren't doing anything for it there. So we made a bit of a fuss and we tried to get some bandages and things put on it and we did. And then this morning um, it, it, it did get up and walk around a little bit but it wasn't very good and the bone was actually sticking out of its leg. So this morning we um, we got some people and they made a splint for the leg and they tried to put it back in place. I think one of the guys was a doctor, so that was really handy. So we're a little bit late with leaving to do to that. Although I think it was a success. At least it could move around a little bit after that. Uh, I think we've gone the wrong way. Sam! This way? For a shortcut. We're not going this way, we're going up through the trees. It's a very green day today. Lots of woodland and things, which is nice. And still following the river, although we've branched off of it now a little bit. Right then. Yep. Off we go. So look, did you see this long way? Up that big hill. Very easy way. Short hard way. Short and tough. Although we did just come up a very steep hill. <laughs> Morning. Today is day six of trekking. Yesterday we had a day off. <laughs> um, and we hung out in Chame. Just because we wouldn't need a bit of a rest. If I was a bit ill. And Sam was feeling like he's got a bit of a cold and stuff. So, uh just hung out there, it was a bit of a town, it's quite nice, and um, today we're going from Chame to Upper Pisang, where it starts to get really high, um, still got 12 kilograms on my back, and about to cross this bridge. Good morning, today is day 8 I think of trekking, uh, no, day 7 of trekking. Day eight of our trek. We have one rest day. We are in an amazing place. Stayed in uh, Annapurna Hotel. That's Annapurna Three there last night, and um, uh, it was right at the top of the mountain. There was a monastery just a little bit further up, 
which I went to this morning and listened to the monks chanting and playing their musical instruments and things. It was really cool. And um, now we're off heading towards Manang. I'm not sure if we're going to make it there today because we've chosen to do the upper route, which is a bit harder. But um, it might take us a little bit longer, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, off we go. Good morning. Today we have trekked from um, this little place down here, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere on the way to Menang, Brack or something or other. And we're just walking up this big mountain to see if we can try and find an ice lake, which apparently exists. Um, but Alex is having a few breathing problems, he's gone down a little bit. But nice view though. Little waterworks thing down there. Ah, oh, look at the birds! Just gazing. Can you see them? I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, and then we're gonna go to Manang a little bit later on this afternoon and um, stay there for a night, even though it's only like an hour away. But it's good to acclimatise there apparently. We're at about 3,600 at the moment. And I haven't got my bag on my back because we're going to go back down to the hotel and uh, collect our stuff before we go to Manang. Here you come. I'm going to fall off the mountain doing this. so many of them. We may not have got to the ice lake, but we went all the way up there. Going down to that village down there. Ooh. And there's a nice shrine thing there, which is really nice. And that's Freya dying. <laughs> Hello! Today we're going to. Hi! From. Where are we going from? Manang. Manang to Yak Taka, um, which is like three hours or four hours uh, maybe it's up there who knows yesterday we had a bit of a rest day <laughs> and we uh sat really cool. around play pool play cards play cards play chess ate, ate lots of food it's good now we're back on track heading towards Thrangma Pass <coughs> Yay! Hello! Hey, it's working. Today we are going from. Where are we? Uh, we're going from Muktanath to Johnson. Yeah. We yesterday went over Throngla Pass, but this thing wasn't working, so it died. Um, there's some chickens having a dust bath just down there. The Throngla Pass was amazing, but really hard work. Now our legs are really hurting, and Fletcher is having to use two sticks to get down. <laughs> it's bad, but it's really nice here. We can still see oh. some snow and That's mountains. Cool oh, it's an apple orchard. Look at that. Apple orchard up there. Wow. Woo. No. Hello. Namaste. So we came from, we're in Johnson now, we came from, uh, Kagbeni. Kagbeni. Yeah, Kagbeni. Um, <coughs> and we're staying the night here. It was an insanely windy walk today. 
um, literally almost got blown over. Uh, just along like a beach type way. It's really nice. And we're deciding what to do from here. We might see if we can get some bikes and mountain bike back. What's going on? Mm. Um, it's a nice sunset coming down. Mad. Really green and nice. We're in Sika. We went from Palate to and we're in Gorapani now. We're gonna walk up Poon Hill. We've just been through Gorapani. We were gonna walk up there, but uh, it's a bit far, and we haven't really got time. But we're planning on getting back to Pakara today, so we have to leg it down basically. But it's fine. It's nice. We're on Poon been, Hill anyway, we're just not at the top. Yes, we've been to Poon Hill and we're walking through jungle and really nice scenery, lots of animals and stuff. We had a dog that was with us but it's gone. gone. 